Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, if you're wondering, the reason why I typed what about now in the chat is because I want to check if it works. There's no game on the screen right now, but this is supposed to happen. Don't worry, it's because I don't have one open. I'm going to wait a few minutes for people to show up. So... Uh... Hello? It's gonna reorganize the way this looks. Uh, is it possible to put a link in the description on Twitch? If not, I'll just put a link in the chat instead. anyone's watching please could you post in the chat Well, this is getting awkward. So I guess I'll just start playing a game and wait for people to turn up. to worry that no one's going to turn up to this. Maybe if I start playing and add a category, people will start watching. Uh... Game's appearing fine. Even if I can't resize this window, which is kind of annoying. No way, I can just go into options. Oh, wait, no, that's the. Even 
that the largest UI scale on this is still still too small. And I've, I've not, I have, I'm good at reading it, so that it still kind of strains my eyes to look at this, to be honest. Hello? Is there anyone watching at all? I've only got one person watching and I think that might just be me looking at the dashboard page. Hi, Alex for Alex G for seven eight. At the moment, I'm trying to figure out if like how to like look at the chat and have the game window at the same time because I have it in windowed mode, but I can't resize it. So anyway, I suppose I should talk a bit about Cavill Nurses Trust. Basically, it's a fund that supports NHS nurses, midwives and people with jobs like that, as well as people who've retired from them. And it's a course I'm passionate about because my mum's best friend is a nurse and the government's been cutting a lot of the NHS's funding over the past few years. So I just thought it'd be nice to support them because I want to do good in the world. And I've got three viewers now. And also, I'm not going to swear because my grandparents might be watching this, so just keep that in mind. I can talk a bit about Parkosaurus if you want. I don't know why the title screen music cuts off quite quickly, but oh well. Hmm. Also, is the chat in the actual um, stream too small? Because it looks like that in OBS because I, it's, I can't change the shape of it or the, rather I can't change the proportions of it but it might not to you I don't know because I'm going to planning to upload this to YouTube afterwards and I want it to make sense also I tried setting up a, a, an incentive or if you paid at least five pounds you'd be able to tell me what to do in whatever game I'm currently playing but I don't know if it actually works so that's a thing I think I should just get started now. Okay then. Hmm. And if any of the viewers want to donate, go ahead. I posted the link in the chat to the donation page, or you can scan the QR code with your phone to Google Lens or whatever it is you have, because I use Android, but you might not. Hmm. Oh, hi, Mum. I think that's Becca anyway. I think Becca is my mum. Yeah, I said my grandparents are watching this. I think my mum's watching this as well. So I think I should talk a bit about Parkosaurus. Basically, it's Jurassic Park, but cuter. Or really, it's a game where you make a park full of dinosaurs and you also have to make the guests happy. So it's a bit like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but I've never played that, so... 
I think I'm going to restart the campaign just so I can show you the tutorial to explain it because I don't know, it has a lot of dialogue windows straight out and I'm playing the game now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That doesn't delete all my progress, don't worry, just the um, the one about the um, the one about the yeah, words. Just the um, progress I've made in the story mode, which isn't very long, so I'm not regret it. I don't really regret it. Uh, so let me start a new game, and I'll wait for well. What a riveting storyline. Oh yeah, also there's a bunch of dinosaur characters who who basically give you tutorials and this is a tutorial about movement. I got a new mouse today and it's a bit sensitive but it's better than my old one which kept getting stuck and I forgot how small the tutorial one was. Oh and you get rewards. Basically you move the mouse to, ro to pan the camera and zoom by using the track wheel and it says here press Q or E to rotate. Gosh, I forgot how much bass is in this music. Also, can you hear me and the game just find people in the chat? Hey. Basically, first of all, you need to make an exhibit. Um, exhibits are like your park's main attractions, obviously. And it took a moment for that to appear. And fences are how you make them, obviously, because you don't want dinosaurs on the loose. But basically, the stats are strength and privacy. We'll go over those soon enough. Is it pronounced privacy or privacy? I've always pronounced it as privacy, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you need doors to for employees to enter next at the exhibit. More on that later. And obviously you can't open your park until you've got dinosaurs and I just realised that the very bottom of this screen isn't open, so... Oh yeah, this... Oh, I forgot that this character existed, but basically... And donations is how your park makes money from the dinosaurs. There are also shops, but we'll get to those later. Also, something that's funny is... The first, I'm not sure if I should pick Stegosaurus or Triceratops. I think I use Stegosaurus more when I play this game, so I think I'll go with that. Uh... But I remember I did a video about, um, in one of my vi um, Do Judge a Game by It's Colour videos, I predicted that they'd add non-dinosaurs, and now they are, eventually. There's a DLC about um, sea creatures, and it's supposed to come out in spring 2022, but it's almost the end of spring, and there's still no word on a specific release date, so maybe they meant Southern Hemisphere spring, or Southern Hemisphere. Apparently there's something called a reader's accent, which is how you people mispronounce words because I've only seen them written down. Okay. Okay. Bring. Okay, so... The Triceratops is a medium-sized herbivore, so this... Or vegetarian, as they call it for some reason, because this game is for kids, apparently. And you can buy vegetables or food for your dinosaurs right away. Oh, wait, they want us to buy the generic plants. Never mind. So they're basically the the this is the most basic food for herbivores or herbivores as Americans pronounce it. So uh we need a feeder. Okay. And now we have to hire employees, so vets will fill in the feeders for us. Well not fill in, just fill. And they cost different amounts and they have different stats. I think I'll go with Gammon, which is a kind of ham, so make of that what you will. Have I got any donations yet? No. I mean, you don't have to donate if you're watching this, just... But it, it would be nice. So now all we need to do is wait for the egg to hatch. Oh, we can do that right now. After a set amount of time, you can click on the egg to hatch it, obviously. Okay. 
So the t the Triceratops, as you can see here, like lives in the rainforest biome. And now I'm going to make a. And this is how you basically you make a biome by first of all putting down tiles. And each tile costs money. They use the dollar sign, but they don't actually call it dollars. So make of that what you will. Uh. Then you need a lot of, basically every tile has three different biomes and in this case you need a lot of water to make a rainforest or a lot of elevation to make a taiga. Okay. And now you need, basically now you need to put plants in here. For some reason it only wants us to use pine trees but I don't have to. Also it bothers me that the icon for pine large is smaller than the regular one but oh well. And also I don't really think rocks contribute to di biodiversity because they're not alive but semantics I forgot how nice this I don't think it looks quite nice I forgot what it was like to play the tutorial of this game because it's been so long yeah I mainly play like casual games on PC if anyone's wondering because um because I don't have a controller for it so I I just like prefer playing more intense games um, on consoles, which I know not everyone does, but that's what I do, so that's a thing. Everyone has opinions, etc, etc. I keep putting a bit more in. If you go over the limit, it doesn't really matter right now. It does matter for something that comes later. Oh. And, um, oh, you can see that this is what strength means. Dinosaurs can attack fences usually when they're hungry. And now that we have a dinosaur, we can open the park. And in the meantime, there hasn't been any new people in the chat because I have the game covering the OBS at the moment. Okay. And we can use a janitor. We can get a janitor in order to fix that fence. Hmm. Hmm. I tend to value employees that have a lot of one particular stat. So we've got a janitor now, and we have to just watch and wait. Oh, and also, there's a bunch of trees around here. We can sell these to make money, but be careful not to overlap the ones that are in the actual... Pro oh, I didn't know you could F delete the things that are out of bounds in this mode. It's interesting. Oh yeah, and we can move employees to a different location as well. This one's the janitor. Right, for some reason it's a bit finicky because sometimes you have to click once picked up, sometimes you have to hold down the mouse button. And well, we already have some guests at the park, so I won't get the ones we have already. I must reiterate, can you hear me just fine and can you hear the game just fine? Because once I did an entire live stream without realising my microphone wasn't actually connected to OBS, so that was embarrassing. Oh, so the nighttime music in this game is so nice. It's not as nice as Never Oasis, but still pretty nice. Oh, I've got 20 pounds. No. Nothing is, this is funny, nothing has ever gone wrong in a dinosaur park, especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me. <laughs> but anyway, this is about security. The main job is to tranquilise dinosaurs, but they also pick up deliveries, which I kind of talked about earlier. Oh, and also you have to manage your finances as well, because like the one employees that start with better staff and more with stats are more expensive. Oh yeah, mum says she can hear me, that's good. Uh, you can tranquilize Armory, but why would you want to? She ha he hasn't done anything wrong, even though Armory is a girl's name, but whatever. Um, the dinosaurs are named automatically. You can rename them, but I don't have any ideas for them. So you, think, you can see that more fence damage. It also costs um, janitors money to repair fences. So you can sometimes go into negative money because of that. And now we have to put her back in, so or him back in, sorry. Already I'm messing up. Okay. 
And finally, we need to hire a scientist after... So basically, science is like one of the two skill trees in this... Well, not skill trees, but like upgrade trees, I guess you call it, in this game. Uh... Basically, they're a currency and you use them to unlock f objects for your parks. There is, there's another tree, but we'll get to that later. I think I'll get Ulux the sixth. These characters all have really weird names. And what's convenient is that you can find the scientist automatically instead of just having to drag because this game's kind of small. Now we just have to wait. Oops. Yeah, the talking scientist, we don't have to worry about that part yet. Oh. Have to wait. Yeah, the other currency is hearts. Basically, the more happy dinosaurs you have, the more hearts you'll get at the end of the day, and they um, unlock items that you can use in dinosaur exhibits, or enclosures, as I was about to call them, which I guess is a better term, but I am not a zoologist, or a zookeeper, rather. I think it's kind of nice, because it's all about ethical zookeeping, and that's a cause I can get behind as well. You'll see more of that later. I'm not really good at talking to myself for long periods of time. I just eventually run out of things to talk about. So does anyone want to hear about my experiences with Pokemon Shield? Because that's what I've been playing lately. Oh, and there's the delivery. My security person could pick it up, or you could just pick it up by clicking it. Although I think I clicked that with the right mouse button by accident. <laughs> As you can see, Andrew is not quite happy. They, you need to have at least 80% happiness to get a heart from a dino, I think. And she's lonely and bored. Honestly, same. And now we just have to wait. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting in this game. Uh, let's see now. Now we can get more dinosaurs. I think I'm going to get another Triceratops, which is the part of Teratops here. And we could dig automatically, but I kind of want to show this off just for the sake of variety. So I'll do that. We just have to wait first of all. Also, that doesn't really seem like a time period. Also, I like how they tried blurring out the words, but then they just completely failed because you can still read them. Like, in The Sims tutorials, for example, I think they blur out all the words so they don't have to retake the screenshots for every different translation. And because this is an e it's an EA game, it has a lot of translations. I mean, obviously, this is in The Sims, not as in Parkosaurus, which does have multiple translations but isn't published by EA. It's an indie game by a company called Wash Bear Studios, if you're wondering. Okay. So as I said, there's a lot of waiting. Mm. And also, the the gem gems are one of the free items you need in order to get eggs, so that's why they're important. Oh, I should give a name for this, I'll just call it Triceratops for now. Life is like a Triceratops, and I love you Triceralots. But am I the only person who thinks that episode of Fire Engine is just dino- charge wasn't that bad. I will fight the entire fandom about this but I'm not really that interested in Power Rangers anymore. I just kind of got bored. There's not really a deep reason for it. Yep. Yeah. And we got the 
for this now. So basically, in all, basically, in this mini game, you get to dig things up, and I just realised the rocks look like Animal Crossing grass. But basically, if you accidentally hit a tile twice, then the object underneath will be destroyed. But if you uncover it without destroying it, then you get it. Big school in the on the lowest layer, you can only get um, schools and footprints, but there are more items you can get on the low on the deeper you go. But let's not worry about that right now. So you can, I destroyed that tile, but luckily there was nothing on it, so. And now that we've got all the items here, we can get um, a friend for Armoury. In fact, we can get two friends for Armoury, but let's, I don't know if it'll let us right now, and I need to... Yeah, this is what I meant, science technology is a lockables um well let me just quickly put the egg down before the day ends also i'm not sure if there's any significance to the colors of the eggs like does every group of dinosaurs have a different colored egg i, I honestly don't know Aww. you also see reviews here a lot of these are quite negative because our park has only just gotten started, so it's a bit bare bones and basic and other words beginning with B. Uh, let's see, there are lots of items we can get. I think I'm going to get some decorations because those make guests enjoy your park more. But we've actually got enough of multiple things. Okay, So basically this is the end of the pop-ups for this tutorial, but there are more campaign missions. Also, nobody's posted in the chat for a while, I I keep checking every few minutes because I'm getting a bit lonely. Oh yeah, and there's also these are benches. Um, guests like these because they can sit down on them and it lets them go um, further than they normally would because they get tired. They oh yeah, all the guests have stats. I'll but I don't honestly don't check those very often when I'm playing the game. But here's an example. This is energy. Once a guest runs out of energy, they can't go any further. Decoration basically means the, the more... Basically, decoration means the more that you... That is what the horticulturist amateur things I got were. Yeah. And food... Hunger is like for food and... We don't have any food places yet, so let's not worry about that. And lights will let guests stay out later because they can see. Hmm. Has anyone else joined? Let's see. Let me check how many people are watching this now. Oh, I forgot you could play the game minimised. Or at least the game would run when you minimised it. Let's see. Currently, I still have three viewers. That was quick. Let me also get a toy for my dinosaur, because I can. Well, uh, my dinosaur. There's soon to be two dinosaurs. These are the most basic toys, and they increase the enrichment percentage of your dinosaurs. Which is the heart one, which is why I said Am Armory was bored. I'll have a let me have a look. It only goes up when they act when they start playing with them though, not like as soon as you put the toys in there.
Oh, they're unhappy because the enclosure is too small for them now. Hmm. Didn't know that would happen in the tutorial, but let me rect try to rectify that. So we'll go over privacy later. There's another tutorial about that. Huh? Uh, I guess it's time to go to the world map then. Uh, let's see. Next one we can fly are the Toronto one. I didn't know there are canals in Toronto. I've never been there. Abandoned. Oh, this is one of the one, what I mean by it being about animal welfare. There's the tropical islands, which are very nice looking, and there's energy, which is tells us more about the benches so which one do you think i should play next chat I just noticed how pretty the water in this game is. I'm going to post this in a few more places, see if I can get anyone else watching. I mentioned this on Twitter and even though I don't have any followers on Twitter and I don't use it that much in general, hopefully this will drive some more interest, especially because I pinged the charity I'm actually supporting. Oh, I've got four viewers now. That's something. Oh, so they have perks we unlock. Basically, at the start of it, if if when we use perks, at the start of every um, tutorial campaign mission we do, there'll be more. Oh, they'll basically be things that 
we, we get more benefits, like having certain things from the start. I'm not really sure if I want to buy any of these right now, though. But I do know that this looks really pretty. It kind of reminds me of the world map in that one mode in Wii Party. Also, sorry for burping. If any of you even heard that, I'm not going to dig myself to a hole. Also, they have a bonus ship path sick time. Basically, if you complete it quickly, you get more ship parts, which can be used to buy um, these benefits, obviously. Or perks, or whatever you want to call them. Also, why is Greenland connected to Canada? And where is... Is that supposed to be the UK? That's not what Europe... This is not what Europe looks like at all. I don't... <laughs> Um. Mm. And rip the entire Pacific o Islands, I guess. Oh, and also you need a certain number of ship parts in order to um, unlock other stages. Hmm. Well, I guess I should start playing Abandoned then, because waiting around is not going to do anything. After this, I might play a different game. I'm thinking either The Sims 4 or Monster Sanctuary. I know I mentioned The Sims 3 in the announcement video, but that game lags a lot, so it's not really fun for me to stream. Oh, yeah. And also, like... Something's nice is that at the start of this, I completely forgot that you get some money and some science points and some hearts to... To help you already. And basically the whole mission of this is that you need to basically make, put the dinosaurs in better enclosures. But in order to do that, we're going to need to get some security. And also what's annoying is that you can't play multiplayer Steve. You have to go back into the menu. But oh well, it's not the end of the world. Like, it's kind of like how in the real world people sometimes like release... Um, zoo and mistreated zoo animals into like a larger habitat of some kind. I'm gonna need a lot of security to manage this, so I think I'm just gonna hire all of these guys or girls, whatever they may be. Well, maybe I could do sport for for this stream event as well. I haven't played it in ages, but I liked it. It's one of my most played games on Steam, even if for some reason all the DLCs are counted as separate games, so... Um... Dun, dun, dun. And I, I don't really want guests right now, because I'm still sorting things out, so... donate a bit to the live stream donations because I'm slightly worried that I actually won't get any and this will all be for naught. some co-commentators for this but oh well it seems a bit of an unusual time usually i stream in the evenings because more americans are awake but i wanted to be awake when i did this so because <sighs> i get tired quite quickly especially at night as most people do technical term
also it's had to be an embarrassingly long time to realise that you could resize um, the amount of tiles, you change the amount of tiles you can put down at a time. Actually, I might change this to full screen because uh, oh wait no that looks terrible this looks like a it was designed for Windows XP or something uh, let me change the resolution then no still doesn't look quite right What's the resolution of my computer? I think it's something like this. Or rather my monitor. And it still doesn't look quite right. Nope. better than whatever resolution I was using before because the screen text is actually reasonable size it looks a bit grainy but at least it doesn't give me eye strain so this is a happy accident um okay maybe it's not a happy accident because the dinosaur storage is way down in a bit of an awkward place let's see if change oh dear Right, my tip monitor's got a bit of a weird resolution. I think this is closer to what it actually is, so. And, and since it wants us to have Brachiosaurus donations, I think I'm gonna use the put down the Brachiosaurus first in which is a different kind of biome called the prairie. remind anyone else of Tom Nook's theme from Animal Crossing? The music that is. I might as well pause this because it's not really like I'm actually doing anything that requires the game to be on. Well, it requires the game to be unpaused. Yeah, and also, as for privacy, more privacy makes dinosaurs happier, and this fence provides maximum privacy, kind of. And that's also what the long grass tiles are for, they also provide privacy. See, there's more than enough space for Brontosaurus. So, oh no, it's Brachiosaurus, not Brontosaurus. That's not even a recognised genus, kind of, except it is. I don't really remember off the top of my head. 
But anyway, since the Brachiosaurus, like all the sauropods in this game, is a large dinosaur, they prefer um, tree leaves, so get some of these. And let me see if there's anyone in the chat right now. Also, I accidentally opened my... Um, I accidentally... For a moment, I accidentally opened my files. I don't know if anyone saw that. No, probably not, because the game is it's just set to capture Parkosaurus, of course. I wonder, of course, I need um, some veterinarians. I almost forgot about that. Maybe I'm putting a bit too much water there. It's more like a floodplain now, although it would be kind of nice to get some water there. And there is a way to pour water into holes, but I can't have it unlocked it yet. Oh, but here it is. Employee Learn Pack, Smart Water. Well, at least I think I've unlocked it, but it's not appearing, so maybe I'm just not allowed to use it in this... Um, what just happened? This doesn't... This feels like a glitch. Everything suddenly looks like it's unlocked, but locked at the same... T it may be... Oh, it's because I had it paused. You can't unlock things when it's the game is paused. Or, so I, I don't really know what's going on, honestly. Uh, this is awkward. Oh, of course, I forgot to put a door on again, so <laughs> no one can get her out. I should probably hire a janitor as well to get rid of that... the things. Technical term. The things. Oh, I need to unlock. And also, like, well, all the forest parts are unlocked by default. Okay, seriously, why is this bugged? This is getting very annoying now. I feel like I won't be able to complete this because of these weird glitches with the unlock system. Well, at least on the plus side, I've documented something that no one's ever seen before. I have no idea where you're going. Um... Hmm that's gone kind of dormant to be honest like I still haven't got any more money raised and still nobody's posing the chat in minutes and well maybe it's because the park is closed and that's why I can't unlock things no I think it is just a weird glitch I don't know why it happened but it did hopefully it'll reset on the next in-game day I have never seen this happen before.
Oh, everything's still highlighted for some reason. I, I seriously have no idea how this glitch happened, but it's kind of going to stop me from progressing, so... Oh dear. Well, I've been streaming for about an hour, so I think I've had enough of Parkosaurus. Um, what should I play next, then? I think The Sims 4? Because I have a lot of ideas for The Sims 4, actually, even though I haven't played it in ages. I don't want to end this stream early, that's the problem, because I'm just... I don't know, I just feel like I've been here for an hour, I've only got one donation, which is fine, but... I just don't want it to feel like I've wasted all this effort, especially because I've been hyping this up to my... I've been planning this for months. And I've been promoting it for like a week. I've only got one person watching now. Oh. Oh, hello. That's someone from Discord. <laughs> That's new. I'm just in time to start streaming The Sims 4. If you, you could make a donation if you want, that would be nice. But you don't have to. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, I've got three viewers again. And it would also be nice if you've shared this stream with other people. Or at least spread the word. Thank you. P.O. 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 How do you pronounce it? I'm opening The Sims 4 now, but I can't add it to the game capture yet, so watch this space. Enjoy the black void. Scan the QR code if you want. And also, even though the stream's only going to, uh, going to last until 4pm BST, I the reason why it says 10 hours to go is because the, um, which you, because the, um, on Streamlabs I could only set the wi the donations widget to last from a date to a date, and instead of a specific time on a date, so that's why. Also, what happens if you don't raise enough money on Streamlabs? Does all the proceeds go to Twitch or something? Because I actually don't know. See, okay, The Sims 4 is open now. And I still can't get it on Game Capture. Uh... See? Does this work? Yep, it does. But the game pauses when it's minimised, so I'll have to change the settings so it doesn't do that. Oh yeah, this is an update. Hmm. Oh, there's a Sims delivery now. We just have to restart, but I thought that uh, you have no clue about what P P O P I. Oh, uh, but anyway. I, f I thought, what was the nice? I thought the whole point of the Sims Delivery Express was that you could download stuff without having to restart the game or without, or rather they had to do it without adding new content, without patching it, without having to do a whole patch, but you still have to restart the game. 
Oh, I've, so far I've got seven views, by the way, which is decent, and that's more views than my streams normally get, and I accidentally turned up the desktop audio, but there's no desktop audio playing right now, so it doesn't really matter. I just didn't know you could skip through this. I was thinking about doing a build challenge and oh gosh they changed this I, I didn't know they changed it uh, as in I didn't I I didn't expect them to change the design of the the opening page um, whatever you call it Also, here's a list of all the songs in the game. I'm not going to play any of these and guess will get taken down for copyright. But there is one song in here I really like, and that's Haru John by Yoasobi or Halzion, or however you want to say it. Spell it. I've listened to the original Japanese version of that song, so I was really surprised when I saw it in here. But in a good way. Uh, let's... Uh... Where there was a way to adjust the... Oh, is it in the graphics settings? Windowed. Something's happening. It's supposed to be windowed, but it doesn't actually seem like it's done a difference. So now this is windowed, so it's easy for me to tab out of this. Hmm. Oh, and there are scenarios in this as well. scenarios are still based on base game which I mean I want the, obviously they want them to be accessible to as many people as possible but uh, but it's still kind of bothersome like I thought this would involve aliens but those around didn't get to work so you just have to get the alien creatures which is not quite the same oh yeah I forgot the plant sim was a challenge years ago before I started playing this game but I remember I really had one well, of my favorite sims 3 files I had was one where I had these two sisters whose parents were dead and one of them had to basically juggle school and the older one had to juggle school and like part-time jobs in order to keep make enough money and then she went to university and became a plant sim and also I got a genie so it became really easy and I got kind of bored but it was fun before that gosh I'm getting nostalgic for the sims 3 and I only played it two years ago for the I only started playing it two years ago I mean, I have I play with a new household in a new file. Oh, and you can't skip create a sim. Uh, should I bend ages and create a sim? I, I also tend to prefer playing just female sims for some reason. I don't know, maybe there's this whole idea people like to see themselves in the sims. Uh, let me randomise an appearance. So powered, sure. Interesting. Shlovajila. Uh. Queen of Reginil. Oh, that one's nice. Hmm. Flora Planty. But spelled like it's Latin. I have a. Oh my gosh, what are those socks? Why are you wearing socks with sandals, first of all? Because, like, I did a Sims 3 live stream where I tried getting the chat to influence everything I did, but the problem is, is that game just is a bit slow, and since not really anyone's watching this, I suppose I can get away w with not having to constantly f jump to the chat every few seconds. And also, this kind of reminds me of, um, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, the socks you get from the Ice Gym Leader. Or, well, Pokemon Shield, because in Pokemon Sword, there isn't an Ice Gym Leader. 
The child is the version I played for Galarian Ponytail, but it's not very good. Why do you not learn Clay Rough by level up? Why is it so hard to get the TR you want? Why is there so much RNG? I see, I suppose RNG is the whole appeal of Pokemon, but still. Actually, now I don't think I can make socks with sandals look good. Well, I don't really know why she looks kind of like she's grinning maniacally, though. I might want to just. Can I adjust the corners of your mouth? Or we could give her a hat. I didn't know there was a pirate hat in this game, but I kind of love it. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. Oh, I have not heard a lot of this music in ages. Or, I, or like, I don't remember the music that's currently playing at all. So, I mean, it has, a bit while. it has been a while since I last played this, so that's to be expected. Is this, of course, I'm going to forget some things. Although she looks like a skin. I didn't expect her skin to look as yellowish as it does. I just find it a bit jarring. I think I should put something a bit less covering. I don't know. Okay, this one looks nice. Yeah, what's annoying is that in this game the access the heads accessories and everything else and clothes are in the different menus. And you have to kind of go back and forth between them. I mean it's more convenient at least this time it's actually easier to it does things load a lot quicker than they do in the Sims 3. I did a Sims 3 live stream once, so go watch that if you want to cringe at myself from a couple of years ago, uh -huh. I guess. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> so the I'm responding. I don't know. It's just kind of like how she made a voice live as I said that. That's why I said, oh, thank you. But because it sounded funnier in my head. I like that necklace from, I think it's Eco Lifestyle. I know. I got. I had this phrase where I got every single Sims 4 expansion pack. Many, usually as part of bundles or when they were on sale. Because I didn't feel like fake playing, like paying full price for this game. I can't talk all of a sudden. I need a drink. So I guess I'll be quiet while I finish designing this character. I thought you could layer socks on top of each other and I don't like it because I keep forgetting that. Uh. Hmm. Do any socks look good for this? I don't. With heels? I don't know. I don't wear heels unless it's a special occasion because they give... Well, actually, I don't wear heels at all. I don't wear sandals except for special occasions because they give me blisters. Uh. Yeah, so this one fits just... Fine, watch it, but maybe I could change the shoes to. Oh, these are a bit bright. Uh. Oh. Oh, this is it is new because I don't think I've seen this before, and the plum bob symbol's got to so. Sim the symbols got to symbolise something, yes. I know that sounds awkward, but I couldn't think of a way to say that. Oh, that looks nice, but the it kind of goes with the coffee, but the camouflage doesn't really suit her. Ooh. Oh, this one looks nice. It's like lilies. I didn't really notice. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, I, I kind of... Honestly, the first Sims 4 expansion pack I got was Island Living, because I used... Well, actually, no, I got this as a bundle with pets, but then I got Island Living, because I just really like tropical stuff. Like, I'd love... Island Paradise in The Sims 3 if it wasn't for the fact that Isla Paradiso lags so badly, like it literally freezes every few seconds. It is one of the most frustrating things I've ever played in a video game. I'm sure she has a bit of an hourglass figure. 
Hmm. Uh, these shades of green clash too clash too much. It's a bit garish or garish, however you pronounce it. More reader's accent. I'm trying to find. Do they have any Oh wait, no. There's a way to filter these. I think you know it. It's not a way to filter these, but there's like categories. I know they. These are filters. What am I talking about? I don't know. Words. <sighs> talking is hard. I think like it's a bit more of a brighter green, or at least just goes with that better. And I don't wear shorts very often. Even though it's like almost summer now, I usually just wear oh. jeans that have just stopped just above the ankles. Hmm, I like this from Backyard Stuff. There, I got this in a bundle on Steam with Island Living. People, I, I've seen people get their names confused and I'm probably going to get their names confused as well because they're similar. I'm having a hard time finding any trousers to go this, but this looks alright. I am not good at colour coordination though, so take this with a grain of salt. thinking that like I could do like a build challenge in the sims where like every if you donated a certain amount then I'd be able then you'd be able to basically tell in tell me what to do but since not many people are watching and I don't actually know if that donation incentive is even appearing oh I've got 60 pounds now that's nice because I have the um page um because I've got the stream labs page open on my phone so I can go back and check it whenever I want um Actually, maybe this shirt is a problem. There isn't really anything that goes with it. And I guess the reason why I'm giving girl short stuff is because it's hot outside, so this is what's on my mind. Oh, I like this in City Living. Like, And speaking of which, I feel like the whole theme of The Sims 4 is diversity, and I don't mean it's a kind of, ugh, they're ruining everything with diversity nowadays kind of way. I mean, like, this is just a genuine observation. Because, like, the whole idea behind City Living is it's based on these places from all over the world. Like, there's a bit of Japan, there's a bit of... of Tokyo, of course, Tokyo's in Japan, there's a bit of Morocco and some other countries I can't remember off the top of my head, a bit of America cause, as well because the name's vaguely similar to San Francisco um, and then like like even though there have been Sims packs based on parts of the world other than America before, or Sims Worlds rather, like obviously World Adventures in The Sims 3, I think I've talked about this in the previous stream, it feels like these are more well researched rather than being just like the most surface level version of those countries, like that's the kind of impression I get from The Sims 3 World Adventures, but I, I'm not a, I don't know everything oh. so please don't quote me on that. Also, this swimming suit reminds me of Minnie Mouse. I just wanted to say that. Uh, let's see, does this look good? Oh, I, this kind of fits with the colours. Like, this is with getting progressively lighter. And also, another thing I don't like is that there's like these are literally the only pair of flippers in the game, pretty much. Hmm. This is a hot weather outfit, then, like what I was designing the party outfit for. Actually, maybe the party outfit should have some more jewellery, then. Um. Oh, this looks fun. Although it doesn't really stand out that much. Maybe the elephant one? Ah. Oh, they all, these all kind of blend in. How about... Oh, this is nice. Hmm. I'm not sure if a sundress suits her, but... Because like, I think when I'm in Creator Sim, I seem to like come up with my sims personality as I'm making their- as I'm designing their outfits like oh this is the kind of person who would wear this kind of clothes like I imagine she likes to dress fancy I guess oh and the shoes already go with her dress her belt even 
Words are hard. I'm. Oops, I accidentally made the game window narrower. I mean, you couldn't see that, obviously, because of the way I have it set up, but I noticed it. And I'm just trying to fill dead air now. Also, is the game too loud? Because it feels quite loud to me. Ah. Uh, okay, this American hat definitely doesn't fit. Well, American, it's like an American camping hat, I should say. Bucket straw hat doesn't really go with her either. Hmm. I don't really think any hats suit her. Um. Yeah, also, I, I spend a while in create. Honestly, I don't think Creator Sims that interesting to watch, which is why I don't really make more than one sim in um, streams of all two. Now, two like, Sims live streams I've done, anyway. I'm still wondering what happens if you don't meet your donation goal. Um, does anyone know? Has any of you used Streamlabs charity before? Of all, still only seven views total. I don't know how many people are watching concurrently though, because you can't see that on OBS only on Steam. I'm on Steam on Twitch. I don't really want to open that because I don't want to like cause more lag than necessary. And something else I don't like is that all of the, basically all of the winter furniture is from, the winter furniture, the, win, the gl gloves are from Seasons, which I'll well, actually know more of the gloves. I know they're not, like only two out of five of these are from Seasons, but you know what I mean, like, obviously all the season related clothes are from Seasons, so it feels kind of like closed off. Like, I don't know, in a perfect world, if I got hired by EA and I had total creative freedom to do what I wanted in The Sims 5, I'd just have lots of basic mundane things like pets and seasons in the base game and then I'd save the expansion the wi and then in the expansion packs would focus more on the very fantastical stuff. Hmm, I'm not sure which hat looks. I think this one looks a bit better on this. I'm not sure what colour. Maybe. Hmm. I think I'll go with a speckled one. You can also kind of see how I have preference, like, if you... I always have these preferences when I'm making Sims in The Sims 4, or in just any Sims game, really, but... Hmm. Let's see, she's a plant sim, so let's let her grow plants. Uh, yeah. I like the high-maintenance trait, because actually it has a lot of effects in it, but I'm not sure if it would suit her, because she seems more like a, a serious person. Um, maybe she could be self-assured. <laughs> and proud <laughs> maker Gibbs be quonk smishy mm. yo yum uh-huh likes them and loves the outdoors <sighs> ah. walk styles dag dag Okay, that was a bit of a weird voice clip. Kenneth Oi Lobo. Juan Genie Larray. Oh, also, this is the Vampire's music. No, is this Van Vampire's? Ah. Or Realm of Magic, one of those two. It's really good music either way. I completely forgot about the pirate hat. Oh my gosh, this is going to crack me up every time I see it, and that's good stream content, I guess. Okay. Yeah, but the thing is, the money in this stream isn't for me, it's for a charity, so I'm not sure what happens to it on their end. Let's see, what town should I play in? I played in Evergreen Harbour a lot, there's only literally one starter home in Brightchester and it's terrible. I mean, I could I, renovate that, but I just like building houses. Glimmerbrook is also kind of empty. Forgotten the Hollows, another tiny one. Sand my shoe knows the one I was talking about earlier. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
Although one thing I like is that all the worlds in here I have different effects. Like with Seasons, for example, you have them on... In, in Seasons, for example, you have different... Every world has a different climate. It's a lot like The Sims 3 where every warehouse the same weather unless you disable it. Hmm. thinking Windenburg or Willow Creek. Yeah, I don't really play Willow Creek that much, but... Uh, that was a weird noise, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll go with Henford on Badly because I like it and it Bagley... I think I'll go with Hentford on Bagley because I like it and I can't pronounce words properly all of a sudden and although honestly I feel like I've played in every house start home here already because I don't really play with pre-made sims that much it's just personal preference I guess maybe Evergreen Harbour uh, but I don't want to build a house so Oh, it looks like Man of the Crossing World. That's a bit weirdly specific, and none of these really do, so I'm just going to find... I guess I'll just do Willow Creek. Hmm. Hmm. So do you think I should do a build challenge for this? Like, each room is a different colour, or a different pack, or three different one of three different packs? Or that like, each room is three different packs, even? Or should I just make a normal sim house? Or should I just have it themed with plants everywhere and... Oh gosh, this looks watercolory. It's probably because of the graphic settings I have. Oh wait, it was just because it was loading in, but it does look quite nice. So, well, you mildly freeze to death. Um, except, no, I don't think it's cold enough for Sims to freeze to death. I'll, I'll build a house quickly. Hopefully I'll be able to make it look in place. Gosh, this one looks really nice and it is a real house and not just a set like these are. And you can tell because I know these are all real houses, but that's a set because I light over them and if they're actually interactable, then they glow, but if they're part of the background, they don't. Some of the decks look nice, but they're a bit expensive, so I think I won't worry about doing a deck for now. And also, it has been a while since I've played this game, so I'm out of practice. And also, what's annoying is that it doesn't show you how long... In this game, in The Sims 4, it doesn't show you how long a wall you're making is. But it did do that in previous games, so why did they change that? It was perfectly fine. But they really ended up that severe time crunch that they couldn't include something so minor. And also, this house, this house doesn't isn't perfectly centred on this, so that kind of bothers me. Oh, hello, Crafty Mint 6. Uh, you'd stick to normal what? Because I, I don't know. I just checked the chat and I don't know when you posted that. But And of course, I, I have a limited budget to make this on. It's not like... Because I'm building this as like... Not in the world editor mode, but in like... With an actual Sims resources. And you start off with like... I think in this game it's 16,000 simoleons plus... 2,000 for each additional member or something like that. I can't remember the specifics, but you know what I mean. I, I forgot how you get deckings because, oh my gosh, I've, here it is. I'll get there eventually. Also, what's annoying is that decks kind of make the wall they're attached to count as a separate room. It's a bit weird. And also, well, right, um, welcome, Graphic You missed me discovering a whole new glitch in Parkosaurus, so... That was certainly something. Also, something else is nice is that every world has a different mailbox. I was about to call it letterbox, but this is an American game and I will respect their American terminology in places that are based on America. 
This is, I think this is based, uh, Willow Creek is based on Louisiana. And my knowledge of Louisiana pretty much begins and ends with a streetcar named Desire. And I didn't really pay any attention to anything that's in sixth form English literature. Not because it was bad, it just, I just had a bit of a bad attention span at the time. I mean, I still kind of do, but it was worse back then. But I don't want this to get too personal, so let's talk about happy things like... Oh yeah, there's always delay in chats. It's perfectly normal. I don't know what you mean by the normal theme. Just Oh, you mean like making a regular house without worrying about building challenge gimmick? Because, yeah, I was just thinking of theming the whole house around plants because this is the plant sim challenge that I'm doing. Or well, scenario is the technical term, but the plant sim challenge was something different that's no longer available, but you know what I mean. Oh, and sh when Sims are bored, they look at their phones because, of course, they do. This looks really cute, but you have auto place is kind of annoying. a bit jarring is there not many American houses have brick walls I've heard it's because when they get if it's when your wooden house is destroyed in a tornado it's easier to rebuild it and and it, it's less of risk if it falls on top of you but I'm not an expert so please don't quote me on anything really although this looks kind of out of place here maybe I should just use this basic one Also, what's annoying is that you can only change the wall of the entire room, not just one wall in, just like, just one part of a wall if you hold down shift in this game, but you could in previous games. Um, but it, oh well, I suppose, I don't know, I'm just, I'm getting, can you tell I'm getting tired, I'm running out of things to talk about, I'll just keep quiet for a bit. too concerned about what packs I'm using with this because this is my live stream and I can do what I want so mm. oh yeah and there are different wall heights in this game that's what the different windows are for so I, have, I, I think I mentioned earlier, oh, it's the first time I streamed The Sims 4, but no, it's, this is the first time I streamed The Sims 4 with um, a world sharing creator sim, because before I just did build mode. I also think I might have made this a bit too wide, but oh well. I can always change the floor plan later, I'm not doing the challenge here. Hmm. 
So I'm thinking that like this could be the bathroom and then this could be the bedroom and then the living room goes here and the kitchen goes here because American houses are very open plan and so are Sims houses because the Sims is an American game. Have I not made that clear already? Interesting gift, three PO payo. Mm. See, now it's time for me to actually. Oh, I need to put in the wallpaper first. Like, I don't need to put it in any order, but I like putting in the wallpaper first. So, wallpaper first, I shall do. Hmm. Oh, I haven't noticed this before. It fits, so that's nice. Oh, I just realised I forgot to set my Sims favourites, so I can do that in uh, later. So it's not that big of a deal. Oh, and I really like these tiles from um, Parenthood. But I don't really think they fit here. Oh, these look nice though, the ones from Realm of Magic. Mm. Forgot to put in flooring. I also really like the flooring from um, Spa Day. That's my, and also just like the furniture in fact, Tiny Living as well, so you might see a lot of that in my builds. Uh, let's see. Kitchen area could have these floor tiles, and then the rest of the house could have different tiles. Also, but unlike the walls, you can actually change only the part of. Instead of like change when you hold done shift, instead of it changing all the floor tiles in the room, it just changes all the floor tiles in the room with the same tile that you're currently using if that makes it is the tile that you currently have highlighted even not the one you're currently using obvs actually i feel like this bedroom might be a bit narrow um let's see well this is a single sim so i don't really like using double beds for single sims it's just habit more than anything Oh yeah, I just need it reminds me of Rise of the Guardians for some reason. <laughs> oh, that reminds me because I was talking about Pokemon Shield earlier. Some of the, the buildings in that game look really nice. Like, Hillbury look like, for example, I, I kind of, I understand it's a bit sappy, but like when I was in Hallbury, I just kind of wished it was a real place so I could go to it because it just looks so pretty and the houses look really nice. Like, I like how his Pokemon has gone on. The houses look more like believable places that the random NPCs could actually live in. Oh, habit. I'm trying to rotate this like using the same controls as in Parkasaurus, but it's they use work completely differently. And what's weird is that normally I don't put that many cabinets in my Sims houses. I just tend to be more function over form. But here, I'm just decorating it all over the place. Um, paint town green. Oh gosh, it reminds me of the tagline for one of the Splatoon games. I think it was Splatoon 2. It is Paint the Town Neon. Oh yeah, I really like... um. 
Oh, another pack I really like is Dream Home Decorator. Not to be huge of a happy home designer, but uh, the stuff from it is a bit expensive. Oh, maybe I could use the cottage living stove here because it fits, but I mean, the colour doesn't really match. But well, you know, that colour does match. Hmm. I need to put in some lights before I do anything else in case. Oh, wait, I forgot how the category search works. Let's see. Like, oh yeah, Eco Lifestyle's another pack of furniture I like a lot. So now you know my cliches as a Sims builder. And like, it's kind of nice actually just reminiscing on all the fun times I've had with this game. No, okay, that sounds a bit overdramatic, but you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, what's well, something sort of awkward about a bit weird about this game is that sometimes in build mode the music just stops and the new track doesn't start playing and I think that just happened now. So I better provide my own soundtrack. Oh that's nice, Pio Pio. And if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? And if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like you've been here before? I can't remember how the rest of the song goes, but it doesn't really sound like the chorus. So let's see, let me put a light on the outside as well. Gosh, I've barely used any of this furniture. Hmm. From paranormal stuff. I really just got it for the career. Because <laughs> I heard it was good. But I don't think it would look nice in this house. So let me find a dining table before I do anything else. Uh, why is it called the Table of Rage? Because honestly, it just, just makes me think of the Lake of Rage. Only instead of a shiny Gyarados, there's a bird, I guess. Because apparently the spooky stuff is based on Louisiana as well. Um, well. It's not spooky stuff, it's paranormal stuff. Spooky stuff was a different pack that I don't own. Why are there so many Sims 4 packs? Why is there so much DLC in this game? Why is game? Who is game? How is game? What is game? Why am I talking in intentionally bad grammar now? And other words, I don't know. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of cute if you put this in a corner and put a television on it. Like, I know that you're supposed to, but not really supposed to put televisions on coffee tables, but actually, will it let me? I don't know. Uh, let's find out. Yes, you can. It looks nice. And TV's a bit small, but I don't want to... Oh, I really love using this because it it's three things in one. But I don't really think it fits in this house. Actually, no, I could fit it there, but... Hmm. No, I actually think I could fit that there.
Oh, another furniture I really love. This. This, just this, about any further elaborate. The modular, sofa, the modular sofas from um, Dream Home Decorator. It's a while to figure out how to actually get them to work, but once you do. Oh, once again, I'm trying to rotate this like in Parkasaurus. Who invented muscle memory? Although I don't really think this has a place now. Maybe I could put it somewhere else in the house. I don't know. Okay, but then now there's barely any room for the sims to get past. Unless I flip these around, so... I don't know, I'm just remembering this joke in an episode of Friends where someone says... They, they don't have a television at their house, and then one of the main characters is like, "Then what does all the furniture? What does all your furniture point to?" God, this is such good music. I think I use this in the bedroom actually. There's a lot of wasted floor space here. I suppose I could fill it in later once I decide what my sim wants to do. Mm. And she can have a double bed as a treat. But I actually build a, this kind of reminds me of the house, some of the houses I built with the Sims in the Sims 3 Supernatural. And I just kind of like this aesthetic of woodlandness or something. Woodlandness or something and other vague descriptions. Maybe this. Wait, where is what game? Because it seems it's appearing just fine for me when I check it in OBS. Uh, actually, oh, I keep accidentally making it smaller though. Is it frozen or something? Hmm. I don't put bedside lamps in my sim houses either. Huh. And you can get a mini clock as well. Also, I really like making tiny homes in The Sims. Oh, I could turn this. See, but since I don't, I since I don't really need all this extra floor space, I could just. I could just move everything across. Oh, we've got too many tiles for a tiny home, so maybe not.
Nope, still got too many tiles. Oh well. Oh, I've saved a lot of money though by just compressing this all. because I've seen that in houses a few times. Well, it does actually know it just kind of looks awkward, but it's just an idea. And eventually I'm gonna find the rugs. I really like this rug from uh, the pet cats and dogs as well. Did I call it? I think I might call it the pets expansion earlier. Oh. Well, oh yeah, I have the front porch here, but I just haven't put anything on it because I can't really fit anything on it. But I'm going to put some stairs on. Unfortunately, stairs are really expensive and they also always start facing the wrong direction by default, which is kind of annoying. Let me check if I've gotten any more donations. No, but... Oh well, £60 is still a lot of money. You could buy a game with that money, I guess. I don't really know what the exchange rates are off the top of my head, but that's what search engines are for. Okay, maybe that sounds a bit... Good. I usually just telling people to use search engines instead of explaining things is a bit rude, but I'm just being too self-conscious again. <gasps> I'm going to get a computer because they're very useful and oh my gosh this is so pretentious but it fits. Oh yeah that reminds me there's a, in this um, game there's, there's a functional computer that looks like a typewriter from Cottage Living. I think I'm going to use that because it, <laughs> it's quite cute if I can actually afford it. Uh, Oh, this won't be a tiny home residential then. And I still have to afford um, a bath, a functional bathroom, so... Cottage living stuff in here. So why is it every finds your back is game named something living? It kind of gets boring after a while. Also, is there any is there some sort of joke I'm not getting here about this toilet being called the ambassador? Is it like a slang for a toilet somewhere in the world? That's the only explanation I can think of. And this is a bit oversized, but oh well. Oh yeah, mirrors are list and decorations even though they have a function. Uh, let's see. I'm not supposed to know you can't adjust the mirror placement without using cheats and I can't be bothered to open the cheats menu, so... And some of these are higher up by default than others. Mm.
what's something I like about this as well is that the Void Critters are introduced in Kid Dream and stuff, but they have a lot of lore behind them, and they're actually... There are cameos in them in other packs. Um, it's basically a Pokemon ripoff. It's like, a, in this universe's version of Pokemon, it's like some sort of... But it also is a bit like Skylanders, because basically the kids Sims can collect the cards, and then they can play with them, but only child Sims can actually play with them on this weird game console looking thing. Also, wicker, rim, wicker whims. Let's see what they did there. I actually think I might point that out before, but oh well. Can't find any rug that fits here. Um... Kind of nice there, maybe move it across a bit, but I'm turning into a Sims tutor because I got quite involved in these Sims dreams. And oh, I wanted to put a lot of plants in here, and I haven't put any plants in here yet. See, that's nice. I mean, it kind of blends in, but this colour doesn't, so. Hmm. And here's this hanging plant thing from Tiny Living that I like a lot. I thought there was a hanging plant in this pack. And by this pack I mean spooky stuff. No, paranormal stuff. I'll get there eventually. <sighs> this has been sleep deprived indigo. And by actually I'm not really that sleep deprived. I mean some nights I, I did kind of sleep badly last night because it's getting lighter. Also for some reason you can't put this on top of furniture even in on top of tables even though it looks like you should be able to which is kind of annoying. Uh... Maybe I could. Says, maybe I could put this. It doesn't fit. Wait, why does it? Uh, is it interactable? I don't know. And also, as I said, like I don't like it. People call it Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, because there are. Like I get it that like te I I don't know. I feel like people are trying too hard to overcorrect to doff. I don't want to dig myself into a hole. It's like. It's okay to call it Chinese New Year because it is the new year from a calendar system that originates in China and there are multiple lunar calendars in the world but only one Chinese calendar. Like the Islamic calendar is a lunar calendar for example which makes sense when you live in the desert and there aren't really seasons. And actually at least I think it's like a lunar calendar is one where months where the length of the year is like solely def isn't is solely defined by the phases of the moon and not the rotation of the sun, right? Which is why the it ne the it must the Islamic calendar and the Gregorian calendar almost never line up. I'm not a calendarologist, which is so probably someone's job description. Like apparently, according to Ripley's Believe It or Not, someone has a PhD in texting, so maybe someone has a PhD in calendars. I don't know. I'm not really sure if this flooring fits, and it is unfortunately all the cheapest, so I might just use this instead, the one from Cats and Dogs that I really like. Mm. Hey, why are these all being listed as new? Are they changed or something? Because I've had... Uh, or did I just never use them? Because I had get together for ages. Oh! Someone's saying the mirror matches the window. It is a bit of a coincidence because they're from different packs. Like, um, the window is from Seasons and this is from Cats and Dogs. But maybe I should change the colour then so it fits the window more? Uh. Hmm. 
oh yeah, another piece of music really good. All the music from Snowy Escape, which is the Japanese style music because it's the Japan pack. Like as I said, though, it was really surprised. I was quite surprised to learn the 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 um the skiing pack was based on Japan of all places. Because like when I think of skiing, I usually think of like the Alps, which I mean it makes sense because there is obviously snow in Japan. It's specifically, like I think Mount Komarubi is based on Hokkaido, which is also what Sinnoh is based on. So that's a thing if you like Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm. There's this painting from Tiny Living I really like. Okay, that's definitely not it. I just thought, wanted to see if it would fit, but it doesn't. This one's kind of boring. Also, I've forgotten how to resize the image. Uh. Oh, this looks kind of cute and it would fit here. Would it fit anywhere else? Oh, looks kind of nice. But now I can't afford anything else, so. Um, this is something I'm gonna Dream Home Decorator it up. Yeah, that's the thing I like for Dream Home Decorator. But no, right, there's some paintings I like from Tiny Living as well. I like this. Oh, I can I could afford it, but that means I won't be able to afford it anything else. So I guess this will be the last thing I put in here. And ta-da! Now ridiculous hatted flora can I, I thought that was the inventory. Oh gosh, it has been a long time since I played this game. And if you eat the forbidden fruit, it turns you into a plant sim. But in The Sims 3, forbidden fruit. But it's established in The Sims 3 that forbidden fruits are also baby plant sims. So make of that what you will. Do you ever just turn to a plant and then just keep going about your day? It's so convenient when that happens. I guess to say she likes fitness. Yeah, basically, like you'll get prompts for a sim to like something if they do some. In they like if they do an action while in a good mood. But if they do an action in a bad mood, they might decide they don't like it. Uh, let's see, color, green. In tea, I don't really set favorite decor styles usually because. <laughs> And um, what usually ends up happening is that the sim goes, interrupts, stops what they're doing mid-action to go and look at the furniture and react to it, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah. yeah, she likes right. Okay, she well, has to like gardening, and she likes Yibs. Um, wellness as well because I like the wellness in this game, and it kind of. Let's see. Yeah, basically, it's going to take a while to get a perfect plant, so I'm probably not going to do that on this stream, but it's a nice place to start. Huh. Well, so these are cool with seeds, but they, they're basically just fully grown plants, so you can put them in your fridge right away. And Oh, oh gosh, that reminds me. Of, maybe I should put on the um, simple living tray, because I really like that one. It's where you basically you can only make food if you have the ingredients for it. Oh, gosh, I forgot to put in a fridge. I'll go do that right now. Maybe delete one of the chairs because I don't need two of them. There's only one sim lives here. Oh gosh, I can only afford the two cheapest fridges. I guess I'll delete this as well. Yeah, cut tight. City Living comes with worse versions of the most basic appliances because I guess it would make apartments cheaper. I am. <laughs> well, that reminds me once in the same story, I had the fridge glitch so I couldn't delete it and it kept. No matter what I tried, and I couldn't take anything in or out of it. And I talked about it on the Discord server, and someone joked that the fridge was an SCP. And oh. Let's see. You can only talk to growable plants, not all plants. Oh, 
Also, I should probably get a job. And by I, I mean Flora Plante, Plante, however you pronounce it. So we're nearly entering the third hour of the stream. And honestly, I kind of want to continue playing The Sims Talker. I forgot how much I love The Sims. <laughs> uh, observation, this is really tied in with the, the place on Island Paradise. Not a Island Paradise. Island Living. Solani, that's it. Maybe Gardener, but I don't think it fits. I've done this job lots of times before with my Sims, but it fits. First, she needs to have a shower. Also, I just accidentally opened my internet settings. I hope no one's... But I don't know if it actually appeared on stream. I hope it didn't. And here's all my gallery notifications. They're mostly for Maxis. Because I think everyone follows them by default. So what's really annoying is that all the different plants from, uh, oh, I can't afford any seeds. All the different plants from the vampires have different places. Have different places. Have different. Um, I, I listed have different options on the sim on the computer menu, and it's kind of annoying. Oh, and also because she's got a. Also, um, I mean, Sims in this game also have bonus traits, and she has the. Collector bonus trait from having a nature aspiration, and that means that whenever she gets a limestone, she'll always get two fossils out of it instead of just one. It didn't what? Okay, good. Oh, wait, you mean my internet setting? Well, not internet settings. And you can also. I didn't realise you could absorb some energy from plants in this game. I don't usually you get this event from neighbours where you um where they basically just give you come over and give you a fruit cake but that's not happening here it's called the welcome wagon maybe I might have disabled maybe they disabled it in an update because people didn't like it I don't know <laughs> what I always like to do when I meet Sims is to click the get to know option because I feel like it makes your Sims learn traits quicker but I don't know if it actually does. There's a bunch of stuff from various expansion packs. You see the problem with I have with Sims is that if you get a lot of the expansion plans after panned, expansion packs and it just gets really cluttered after a while. Like in the Sims Pretty especially every time you start a new household, you have to get the university mascot and the time traveller if you have the relevant packs installed. I've got four viewers right now and I accidentally minimised the game, but you can still see it, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, she's into gardening. She's sort of... Yeah, Garden Gnomes is a club, it's from Get Together. As the name suggests, they like gardening. Let's see. You can basically get collectible. These are collectible. You can also get collectibles from these called elements, but I think I'm just going to sell this, so. Because I need the money. Get some starter fruits. Oh, and she's talking to people right now. Oh yeah, Bjorn's one. Bjorn Bergerson's from. Not I from Get Together, isn't he? Isn't Bjorn also the name of someone involved in Eurovision? It's tessellating hexagons here. 
I don't think he is, but all of these seeds, are, these fruits are out of season, so I guess I'll just put them in the fridge. Also, Robot Salvage Parts is something I'm not really interested in doing with this sim, so I can just sell it. And she's not start work for a while, so. Ranka, yes, boss. Press large him. Rohana the local, the weak of all. Bring Kappa, the green Although honestly, I wasn't. I don't know if I made such a big deal out of baiting your fridge because plant sims don't eat normal food, but I guess for Jimmy's brother, just in case. Oh yeah, and they also get two My Sims trophies. These are never collectible. I'd probably just sell these as well. I have not played My Sims, and so most of my knowledge of it comes from Peanut Butter Gamer. And I just realised I forgot to put a trim on this, so let me do that really quick. Or real quick, or however you want to say it. Ta-da! Oh, okay, that looks a bit weird. So because of the way I had cut through walls, but I, there probably because it's a bit weird, like when you have cut away walls, because like the higher floors look a bit weird, because like when you have cut away, it only shows the walls and not the roof, but the front parts of the roof are technically walls. So. Oh. Also, like all of these, a lot of these foods have very elaborate names. I think these are all added in the um, the Mexican cult, the South American update from a few years ago. <laughs> oh, I don't know what job that is at Rain Gay Entertainment. Hmm, maybe I can get her a yoga mat so she can do mindfulness. If I can afford which I can. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I like wellness because it does a lot of things. I think it only they changed out in they only added all this in Spa Day Refresh, which was after which was like I only got it after it was refreshed because I had the original version was kind of boring. What's so new in this game is that you can assign different sides of a bed to different sims instead of just the entire thing. Research. Yeah, what's annoying is you need a certain skill in gardening to research gardening, but isn't the whole point of researching something that you want to improve it? Um, something I like about um, 
Another thing I like about this game is that, like, being a Void Critters, there's a Void Critters TV show. I'm not sure why Volpes is so huge, but it exists. That's the name of the one that looks like Umbreon, if you're wondering. And well, actually, most Sims don't like kids shows, but... And this is the mood that they get for it, it's kind of funny, but I just wanted to show that off. Hmm... I honestly I might end this stream early because I was trying to go until four but I might just go and stop it now. I mean you could still donate because the donation thing is still open but I mean, maybe I should wait a bit so what do you think because all four people who are watching this so far or right now not so far words language Yeah. Okay, also the different showers can affect different moods. I thought take a brisk shower was the short one, but no, that's the um uh that's the energized one. Oh yeah, and there's a bonsai you can use to practice gardening. I might get that if I can afford it, that is. And I can. Barely, but I can. Oh wait, it's flower arranging. I thought it was gardening. Uh, unless these are connected. Yeah, they are. Or maybe it affects. Oh, I don't have a bin. I should get one. I'm just gonna get the cheapest one because I'm running low on money again. I am not very good with money in The Sims, I should warn you. And I guess she stripped the bonsai, I think that's a sign that she wasn't very good at it. Of course the collector trait isn't as broken as it was in The Sims 3 where like collectibles would just spawn everywhere. I think it was called Gatherer but you know what I mean, same principle. I think Vanessa Clovertop had that. And there's another plant to harvest. And the Sims doesn't have work today. And also, like, all the ticks mean that if once you reach all, hit all these criteria, once you have ticks on all these different criteria, you need to, you, your Sim is able to advance to their next career, or at least the promotion tasks and the promotion, and the performance thing anyway. swing but there aren't any swimming pools here because they're not in the base game but I think the only pre-made swimming pool is in Windenburg so we can go there. Sims can travel between worlds with no repercussion. Repercussion is a bit of a strong word but you know what I mean. There isn't, it's wherever they want because logic is irrelevant apparently and I have forgotten how to do travel with a, from a specific Sims inter interview inventory. Yeah. 
I suppose I can just do this in the... Oh wait, you travel using the phone, but this works too, oh well. So we can go all the way from Louisiana to Germany in an instant because logic is doesn't exist in The Sims. I was trying to figure something funny to say, so that was the best thing that came to my mind. Oh yeah, but it's snowing so my sim might get hypothermia, but I'm not sure. I hope not anyway. So vote for things in your neighbourhood, that's from the Eco Lifestyle. <laughs> also you can ask other things about their hobbies and skills but most of the older pre-made ones don't have any by default. I also don't know that if your sims favourite colour actually affects anything in this game. Oh, this statue's nice. What is this? Is this basically based on something? Because it kind of makes you think of the Olympics, but it does not like any particular Olympic stand I know of. And there are pergolas, ex a statue I know of. And these, there are pergolas exactly like these in Parkosaurus. Shared universe confirmed? Do, 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 do. So, what do you think, chat? Do you think I should end the stream soon? I've got £60. That's nowhere near my goal, but £1,000 was the minimum on... What's it called again? It was the minimum on Streamlabs, so... Oh, the finish is out of season. I didn't notice that. Hey. Well, it's been a nice stream. I don't think I'll ever get as many viewers as the legendary Wild World stream with the Seduced Blathers meme. But that's... Okay, I think I'll just have her read a book for a bit. And then I think I'll finish this stream. Oh, this song's nice, but... Don't know what it is. I hope you had fun watching the stream then, because I had enough, honestly. I'm getting a bit tired. And. Oh, I've got seven concurrent viewers. That's a lot more than usual. So. Bye.